Today's video is sponsored by Rakuten. Get cash back free. Here's some Dollar Tree DIYs you've never seen and are gonna wanna give a try. The $1.25 candle section? Yes, ma'am, run because there is a brand new scent this year. This is the French Toast and Pumpkin Butter Candle. I rate this one five stars. The throw is amazing. And what's more, they have a fragrance oil. I highly recommend this product. You combine this with a little bit of water and a diffuser. And did you know you can also buy these at Dollar Tree? I highly recommend these ones down below. And what's going on? Don't go anywhere. Grab a plastic cauldron that you have. You can find these at the dollar store. I just drilled a little hole in this and then I could stick the cord of my diffuser through. Then I added that Dollar Tree essential oil. Check this out. So cool. It feels like cold. This DIY is so fun and easy. Move over, Sanderson sisters. Grab this deco mesh. You can find this pretty much any time of year and just take a little bit and put it on top. It helps diffuse the mist and gives it that really beautiful cauldron look that looks incredibly realistic. I love it. And what's more, these aroma diffusers are also really highly rated for $1.25. Take that same essential oil, put a little bit on. I run these for about 10 minutes in my bathroom. The throw is amazing this fall. Next time you're in Dollar Tree, move what you need to and come over here because we are going to get some bleach. And I think we can do all of these projects with just one small bottle. You can find polo shirts in here, and these are all $1.25. They also have lots of great tank tops. I've seen some higher quality Hanes items that you're gonna spend five or six dollars on, even at the thrift store, here for just a buck. Or I'm gonna show you an amazing hack. This has been floating around, honestly, since the 80s, but we are gonna have so much fun with it. Check it out. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and a comment down below. It helps bring it to more people and helps in the algorithm. You're gonna love how much money we save on this one. Also grab a foam core board from Dollar Tree and you're gonna put these shirts over top. The only key is to make sure it's 100% cotton. And then you're gonna take whatever wooden decorations you have, you could do Christmas ones, you could do Halloween ones, put it on top and put bleach into a spray bottle. Give this a light mist. And in a couple minutes, you can join these incredible Etsy sellers selling these for way more money and you made it for about $3. How fun is this for the holiday season? And yes, these shirts are Hanes brand. I took a Millennium Falcon. I just used this from my Cricut Design Space, spray it on, and then I dipped a paintbrush in bleach and then just kind of flicked it on to give it that galaxy effect. And then I took off the vinyl. Holy cow, this looked so good. And I made it for just a couple of bucks. Why make your bed when you can craft? Did you know that Dollar Tree also sells graphic t-shirts for $5? This one is MTV. They have tons of name brands and I really like these. And you can do an alternative dye style. I folded this one up like an accordion, added a few rubber bands and just poured a little bit of bleach on. Look how cool this one turned out. I can't wait to try it with more designs. Have leftover bleach in that spray bottle? Spray it on some weeds in your driveway. I'm not kidding. This really works. Proof is in the pudding. I'm so excited today's video is sponsored by Rakuten and you aren't gonna wanna miss this because you get a $30 welcome bonus free. Yes, it's completely free. I have worked with them for years. You get cash back for purchases you were making already, whether it's at Dollar Tree or bigger stores like Walmart, Target, Macy's, or even the hardware store for all of my DIY projects. I get the question a ton. Charlie can attest to this. My most asked question is where do I get my spray paint from. Mine is Magnolia Home, which tends to get a little bit pricey, but I have used these two cans of spray paint for all of my projects you have seen this fall, and I get cash back for it using Rakuten. You can download the app or an extension on your browser. You shop right through it, and at the end of every quarter, you get cash back for purchases you were already making. A test in the comments down below. I get hundreds of dollars a year just by using this app, and what's more, you get $30 free dollars with your first qualifying purchase when you use my link in the description, especially with the holidays coming up, whatever DIY or Dollar Tree projects you're doing, make sure you've got the app. One thing I use my cash back on is this apple barrel paint, and this is in the color caramel. I took one of these clear mugs from the Dollar Tree, and this is so satisfying. I put about half the container of paint right in and then just rolled the glass, and now it looks like maybe a pumpkin spice latte. I added my topper to it. How cute is this? Oh, look how cute the ghost is. Does it need batteries? What do you need, Mr. Ghost? I'll tell you what he needed, a coat of this light, 
pink magnolia spray paint. I added him to my pumpkins outside. Look how cool the light looks. I really like this one. I did the same with this pumpkin. I put a little bit of wax paper in between their eyes so I could spray it easily and I love how it turned out. Oh, these are cool. Little bat wreaths and they have these little bat garlands. You know that like the viral thing where the girl's like, it's a freaking bat. <laughs> It's a freaking bat. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. Plus they have pool noodles. You guys may remember one of my favorite DIYs, spray painting a hula hoop and putting some of the La Catrina items on it to make gorgeous wreaths. A mí me encantan las calaveras que tienen en Dollar Tree. Eso es súper divertido para el Día de los Muertos. Hice este DIY el año pasado. Pero es mi primera vez hablando español en uno de mis videos. Si te gusta, házmelo saber. Quizá es algo que puedo añadir de vez en cuando. <laughs> You'd see these at Kirkland's. Now this is actually plastic, but it looks and reads like glass and it lights up on the inside. It's almost like you texturized it, sprayed a little bit of bleach on it, and there's no DIY required. For me, I love some of the small and fun Halloween touches, not the really big stuff that takes a lot of time. These cupcake wraps are super cute, and they have these, which are perfect for your brownies. They have candy eyeballs here. Oh, this is so fun. I love how easy these were to do. I think they would be so cute at your kid's school. My kids absolutely loved them, and it's one of those DIYs that's so accessible for anybody. Also, this little base is just a pumpkin that I got from the dollar spot at Target, and then I hot glued a tray onto the top of this to create a little pedestal stand. These are really easy to make. Give it a try. Also, a really fun tradition that we love with the kids is to have a Halloween tree that you can leave little treats under throughout the week. If nobody's told you, you are enough. I'll see you soon. I was like, what language is this? Nisi. But it's it's just the upside down sign. So it's the witch is in. <laughs> Come on.